you know how Kyle was like, you, you know, like, he's like, and what you said about me, don't you ever talk to me like that. Disrespect <laughs> 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 So for this exercise, I felt like I had to do it because I wanted to get more uh, open with these guys. So what I thought is to talk to them individually and talk about how I felt when I first got here to now. So I told them how I felt towards them and what I see them succeed in their craft. So then I went in depth, but I needed a, a place to for them to just express themselves. So I did it in my car because I thought it was the perfect place for them to, to really think. And, and, and then when I went in the, inside the car, I tried to tell them how I really felt. And afterwards I told them, hey, I love you because at the end of the day, you know, they're, they're, they're not my friends no more, they're my brothers, so, so yeah. Okay, for this exercise, I'd like to hear uh, your feedback on the first exercise, and then after your feedback, I like to say, I want you guys to say why I picked the car, or your thoughts of why I, I was in the back and you were in the front. Who wants to go first? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> At first, I say I was kind of like. I was just curious what it was because I was the last, well, no, you were the last one, but I was one of the last ones. And everybody went through it and no one would say anything. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? And everyone was like, damn, like, like <laughs> changing. <laughs> so I was very curious at first. But in terms of like what you said, I was like, oh shit, like, Craig's going deep. Like, he's just spilling out all like the way he sees things about me. And then, yeah, uh, I felt good. I like what you said, I appreciated everything. But one of the things that shocked me, and I even told you guys like in the vlog, this is something that I want to, to show people, <clears throat> is that Craig said, I only knew the woke Isaac on Instagram, you know, the things that I would pose, the things that I would talk about. And he's like, but I appreciate very much the fun Isaac and like who you are in person and you're a good vibe. So to me, that was like, man, if Crack thinks that way about me, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who, who think the same, that, you know, oh, Isaac's not the fun guy, he's too serious, very disciplined, just the woke Isaac, I guess. So for me, it's important now to really just show who, you are, who I am, because I feel like other people, every time I've done that, people fuck with it, and they're like, oh shit, like, I, I like that side of Isaac too. So it's, Crack helped me put that together that, Man, like, I need to be more of myself. I was, when you, t when you said about the exercise, I was trying to figure out, well, what could this exercise be? And it, I, it was nothing that I expected. But, yes, like, I really enjoyed hearing your perspective on things. And, like, I've been, the things you said, I've been thinking about and, like, applying them to my life. And, like, for, for example, you said confidence is something I always had to struggle with, kind of. And I've been working on, you know, getting out of my comfort zone and just being more confident, so. When you express it, express yourself like you did uh, in the in the in, in the car, I feel definitely better connection. I think we need to talk ideas in order to get more connected because ideas are where friendships can really have a strong bond and not just be friends. But uh, but so yeah, I think I think it was a great step into bringing us closer. Um, I think the reason why you did the car was because like I thought about that too. Like maybe he doesn't want to say it directly to like our faces. And uh, the second thing, um, but I mainly thought it was like, at least my experience doing it, I was like, you just get to listen. You know what I'm saying? Like many times when we're looking at someone, we have that um, body language and we're always like, but this time you just heard the voice. So it was just very interesting because you didn't, you couldn't react to anything other than the words that were being said. 
you know, you couldn't see his facial expressions, you couldn't see his body language, etc. So I thought that was the main thing, but I was like, maybe it's also like he didn't want to say it face to face. <laughs> but I think my main takeaway is that I think we're seeing a version of Christian right now where he's just trying to grow, you know, and um, just trying to put himself out there. The one thing about the activity that I don't know if he said it to everybody, but he told me I couldn't or he didn't want me to say anything or to react after. It was just he wanted to say something and that was it. And I remember coming back into the house and I just could not, like, I had to say something back. So I grabbed Christian and took him back outside. And I mean, I hope you're okay with me sharing it, but he told me, like, the one thing that was just on my mind was he told me that he thought he disappointed me or at least when, more when we were doing a title. And that's something that, like, I had to tell him, like, there's nothing that you could ever do that would disappoint me. And, yeah, but. Sure, yeah, bro. Thank you. Relax, bro. Relax, bro. Shit. Yeah, bro, cow went deep, bro. <laughs> One of the reasons why I decided to do this is because I feel personally um, that a lot of times I make assumptions of like what you guys think about me. We create assumptions in our heads that 99% are true. So like slowly I've been improving in those. But another reason why I wanted to do this is because I feel like to, to build a relationship, you have to be vulnerable with that person and, you know, that connection, doing small things like buying you guys stuff and just building that connection that I care about you. Like you guys, before I came here, you guys were just friends that I would hang out with once in a while. But now that I see you guys every freaking day, like it means you, you guys are my family. So the car situation, it's funny because Kyle said it, um, I feel like the, the car is one of the, the places that throughout this move have been in a place for me to think clearly. The reason why I decided you guys to be in front is because I wanted you guys to think, you, to, to imagine that you guys are driving the car and you guys are in control of you know, this is a team, but all of you have a, 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 a goal and whatever you like, being able to control wherever you want to go. And that voice, it's us. Just trying to help you. And you just steer, steer. steer the, whatever you want to go, you're in control. You're in control of the car. We won! <laughs> Crafty, bro. <laughs> You got lucky, correct? Like you got lucky. We're ready. We're taking over. <laughs> We're taking over this. Mm, you can bleep that with the noise. Anyways, peace, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Yo. What the? Where am I? <laughs>